Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Corinne and I love to do a lot of videos on savings challenges, budgeting videos, crafting, and small business. So in today's video, I wanted to show you some very, very low priced savings challenge binders that I found on Amazon. If you're like me and you love doing all the cute, fun savings challenges, you are really going to love these books. The uh, makers are very creative. Some of them are, they all may be low income. Not sure. Okay. But anyway, I love doing savings challenges. I have spent a lot of money on Etsy with different savings challenges and I love supporting other small shops, but I kind of want to, um, I kind of wanted a book and not have to spend as much money that I've been spending on Etsy because I have spent an awful lot. And I thought about it, if I'm looking for um, cute, fun, cheap ways to save money and challenges that are reasonably priced, then um, I wanted to share with you guys what I found as well. But let me show you in my binder. This is one of my savings challenge binders. And it has some challenges from different Etsy shop sellers. So I will still buy savings challenges every now and then from Etsy if I find some that I really, really love. But I'm all about trying to save as much money as I can with the new year coming up because I have some big goals in mind this year. So anyway, let's get to the books. This is the first one, and I will do my best to try and link every last one of these binders down below so you can go to Amazon and get yours as well. Now, this book kind of got wet, so yours won't come like this, but it has challenges ranging from $125. It's got um, $250 all the way up to 2,000 and I believe I saw yeah there are some 10,000 ones in there as well and then in the back it has some where you can just write the amounts yourself that you want to save now I don't think any of these books were over seven dollars now they may not be that price when you go on Amazon but they are all very cheap if you don't like one of the ones that I'm showing you today there are several more and the reason why I bought three is because I love the variety and all of the books that I saw. So yeah, I wanted more. This one so far is my favorite. I really believe this one was less than five dollars. I really believe it was. But as you can see, it is it doesn't really say low income, but I consider this low income because it has small amounts for you to save. Um, one hundred dollars, five hundred. What I just showed you. It also has some for you to put the amounts in yourself, and it has so just really cute challenges. I love these. Now I've already started doing one of the challenges. In this binder but when I'm done I'm probably gonna go ahead and get started on this binder I mean on this book because I really like this one it's my favorite so the last one that I got is another low-income savings book you can see on the front it's got 400 1,000 and 300 now I know it says like 324 days 1012 weeks you don't have to do that time frame i'm not doing that time frame in one of my other binders i'm still working on a savings challenge that i started for october october is over with but i'm still going strong with my challenge i'm not setting a time limit for me um to stop I'm just going to stop when the challenge is completed and I'm not going to rush myself. I'm going to do it at my own pace. And yeah. So let's look at this book. And it tells you right here that it's a low income savings challenge. 
And I know there are a lot of creators that have savings challenges books and I'm not trying to deter anyone away from buying those. I know I saw one that I really, really like, but it just wasn't in the budget. So this is for someone that just really wants to have a savings challenge book, but the money is just not in the budget right now to spend 25 or more on a book. Amazon has a wide variety and you're still buying um some of them are still small business owners i forgot i started this one and i don't know why i left the money in there but i did um so anyway those are cute and then we've got like 200 dollars in 30 days i love these amounts it is so much easier to save six dollars save five dollars you know instead of doing like i am doing this 75 envelope challenge but i tried the 100 envelope challenge before it was just so overwhelming for me that i didn't want to do that again so i did this i'm doing the 75 one now and it's going really well because we don't have all of the big denominations so that helps and that's what i like about these books another thing about these books that's cool if you have a laminator you can tear a page out and you can laminate it and then you can use that savings challenge over and over again or if you have a friend that wants to do one it's multiple pages of the same challenges and you can just tear a page out and you know give it to a friend if that's something you want to do because it's so many of them and then we have $400 in 30 days. And we have multiple ones that are $500 in 30 days. And you can break this down to where, okay, if I'm going to do the 500 one in 30 days, if there's a special event coming up, birthday, Christmas, this can be your Christmas challenge right here. You don't necessarily have to have a savings challenge that says it's for Christmas and has all the Christmas designs unless that's what you choose to do now if that's what you want that's that's okay one thousand dollars in 12 weeks I can't wait to do this one it's not too bad it's got you know like some higher um, denominations but not too bad and I like it because it doesn't feel overwhelming with all of the either circles squares icons whatever it's only what eight nine ten eleven it's only 12 so and if you get paid bi-weekly you can do two if you choose to it's however you want to do the challenges so the highest number that this one goes to is one thousand so that's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. The, I didn't need to buy multiple books, but I love a good savings challenge. So I wanted to buy more than one. But again, you can buy one if you choose to or more if you choose to. Amazon, they really have so many reasonably priced books. That is just amazing. Also, I got... Let's see if I can bring this in. This is a little savings bank. And it's got saving for tomorrow on it. And it's one that's going to have to be broken into to get into. So that's over to the side. Putting money in that one. But guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it, please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. There are a lot of new changes coming to this channel. There will be more um, giveaways and a lot of fun stuff going on. I would love to have you all um, just be a part of my journey just so I can be held accountable and to share my journey with other people that are on this same journey of saving money, trying to pay off debt. Um, whether you're trying to buy a house, a new car, whatever. Ever. If you have a budget channel, leave your channel down below so that I can support you as well. And guys, I guess I'll just see you in the next video.